And this is the main floor of the renovation. Not a lot's changed in here. We had some plumbing issues that we had to get dealt with, so got those dealt with. Sort of. You can see. Got some of that flex pipe, IPEX, back in there, and then it goes up to the second level over there. So pipe kept freezing every winter, so did something with it. Okay, a little walk around. This is gonna be the living room for us. Door into the old part. It's washroom over there in the hallway. Leads out to the garage. That's gonna be two windows. That's gonna be an eight foot sliding door with a couple tall windows on the sides of it too, just to give it some more natural light in here. Take a look from outside. It's kind of damp out, but. If you really like your backyard, don't get a renovation done. Finally got the roof finished. They ended up doing doing the roof about three different times apparently because they couldn't match the color and finally I just looked at them and said as long as you get close you know what it's good enough for me so okay and for right now this is gonna turn into a doorway this is gonna be our daughter's bedroom up here she's all excited about that so up there, that's going to be an arched window. And you have two smaller windows. And those two smaller windows are swing around, make you guys really dizzy today. There's one for my left side, which used to be the bathroom window. And then over here, that window, which goes into my, my uh, computer room, desk, all my model train stuff's in there. And that window will come over here. So yeah, all in all, her new bedroom, 18 by 22. I'm gonna keep it the cathedral ceilings. Okay, watching this, I'm gonna make myself dizzy. Hope you guys are all right. So like I said, they finally got the roof done. Next part. Siding, windows, sliding window, and then voila, then I can start my thing of insulating and electrical, getting some of the heating done. Oh, look how easy it is to break into my computer now. You guys can see how big of a mess that is. Uh, lots of projects I gotta go and do. City station. Frame Ranch House. Oh, there's another locomotive down there. I gotta put on the track yet. Fire Department Headquarters, Union Crane. Uh, what else do I got? Two parts of the roundhouse, or two roundhouse kits I gotta do. Two oil refinery kits I gotta do. And two rail sheds I gotta do. So that's all gotta be done for my new layout that we're gonna be doing. So. All right, guys, that's the renovation tour. You got to see the basement this time. So, well, you're gonna see the basement. Hold on, let's go. Take you down there right now. And here's a look at the basement. That's the train. I shouldn't say basement, it's a four foot crawl space down here that I got this in right now, right? So what I'm having them do is, hopefully you guys can see it. it's pretty dark down here. That wall right there used to be an old cold cellar down in there. So I'm getting them to rip that all out. So you can see it was the old stone foundation. So they're ripping that out, making this a lot wider. So I want to put a helix back in this area here. And there's how wide the original wall was. And the part I'm really waiting for down in here. See I already got them to put my plywood down here because there's no way I was getting four by eight sheets down here later. So, oh, that was a fast spin around eh? There's the basement. Finished. 
I had to come back down and parge this wall over here. It was just full of holes. You could tell they didn't vibrate it at all. And there, they gotta make a little step or ramp. Not sure yet. I'm thinking I'm gonna get them to cut all that out over there. More basement, more trains, right? So, I don't know if you guys can tell. It's four, eight, 16 feet over there, maybe. And then probably 22 feet this way. 16 by 22, that's not bad. Okay. Make me put a salt pit down here, that's okay. Covered by wood, well, table anyway. Okay guys, so that's the renovation. It's taken a lot longer than I was hoping it would, but all good things come to those who wait, right? And, well, can't be in that big of a hurry because I'm a model railroader, just like you guys. And we all know that you have to take your time, right? Okay, talk to you later on. Bye.